I'm here to explain how the cooling system works in a 9th gen Civic with a K24 engine. This cooling system is built with the radiator, overflow tank, radiator pressure cap, thermostat, temperature controlled radiator fan, and a belt driven water pump. This system uses a 50-50 mixture of ethylene glycol and the ionized water. This mixture can perform as low as negative 34 Fahrenheit to 228 Fahrenheit. Now I'm about to show you where the components are located in this cooling system. First off, here's the radiator cap. The overflow tank is right here. So you can see um, the temperature control system is right over there. It also has a water passage where the thermostat is found and the thermostat is connected to the lower rad hose which is just right there if you can see on the other side you can find the water pump right over there other cologne lines are connected to the throttle body for better fuel economy this line right here having the cologne line warm up the throttle body helps increase the intake air temperature to a more efficient temperature for internal combustion so it goes it goes from here and the outlet is from the, the outlet is this one and it goes through the the line that connects to the heater core the heater core is found right over the firewall under the dash and these are the lines that goes to the heater core so you can see it's kind of dark but hopefully you do see now i'm gonna point out where the, the leaking points are for the cooling system it could leak right around here from leak points you can find it leaking around the water pump and the thermostat as well because the thermostat has um plastic housing hopefully you can see the rad fan relay is right here in the fuse box as you can see right here to bypass the cooling fan relay you need to find out which side of this uh, relay you have to pull it out which side is the load side and which side is the signal side then you take out the relay and then you just jump the load side and out the, the fan just starts uh, or the fan just kicks in for the cooling of the radiator. I will explain the coolant flow in my computer and show you a diagram of this particular engine on how the coolant flows. So we are here now on my computer. This is the cooling system of my engine, which is the K24Z7. This is the diagram and I will explain to you how the coolant flows in this kind of engine. There's already coolant inside the engine or water jackets as we say when you start the car so yeah like the coolant from the upper rad hose goes to the to the cylinder head and to the block and travels to the water pump and the water pump is constantly moving it's a, it is a belt driven pump uh, it's a centrifugal pump so what it does is uh, the coolant stays in the middle of the the core of the pump and it just uh pushes it out outwards into the block and keeps the coolant circulating to the engine and when it reaches a certain temperature uh, the thermostat opens up uh, most cars from around 90 degrees celsius uh, the thermostat opens up and the water pump pushes the coolant into the thermostat housing and it goes to the lower rad hose and into the radi radiator. Um, this kind of radiator is a cross flow design. So the coolant moves uh, hor horizontally throughout the radiator. So when the coolant is moving horizontally in the radiator, the coolant is being cooled by the fan or by air when the car is moving. The fan will kick in when the in engine coolant temperature sensor picks picks up the temperature of the coolant is higher than operational and once it's cooled down it goes back to the top of the radiator radiator travels to the 
um, radiator top top hose and it goes back to the cylinder head and it flows throughout the engine it repeats that process over and over again and the coolant actually takes the heat so the heat away from the the, the water jacket and by convection it transfer the heat to the coolant and yeah it does the same cycle the cool the the cooled coolant goes around the engine and when the thermostat opens up the water pump does its job to push the coolant to the lower rad hose into the a radiator and does the same process over and over again so in this engine as you can see here's the thermostat uh, we'll talk about what happens if the thermostat gets stuck in the open position the coolant flows continuously around the engine and into the radiator this will prevent the engine from reaching operating temperature which is crucial for engine or for engine efficiency so the engine will, when when this happens the coolant flows around the engine continuously the engine will run less efficiently, which will lead to increased fuel consumption and higher emission and higher emission levels and could cause faster engine wear. So what happens now if the thermostat is closed and or ceased in the closed position? Um, yeah, if it's stuck or ceased in the closed position, the circulation of the coolant is blocked, so it wouldn't be able to reach the, the radiator to get cooled. So the, it's just gonna be um, stuck in the, the engine and there is no way to cool the coolant which will cause overheating and that is really bad for the engine it will cause faster engine wear and overheating and it could uh, lead into catastrophic damage into the engine and the small parts of the engine let's talk about the thermostat being stuck uh, halfway open um, in this case, when the car is idling, you won't notice any difference. But you may notice uh, the engine overheating when you put more load into it, like when you're going uphill. And yeah, if you notice that, you might not, you might need, or you need to uh, replace your thermostat in any of these occasions if it's seized open, seized close, or seized halfway open. Um, yeah, let's talk about uh, the last point which is the the vw plastic water pump what if you know the the impellers are broken if that is the case if the impellers are broken the water pump will not do anything it wouldn't it would not be able to push any coolant inside the block and it not it's not gonna it's gonna be worthless it's just gonna be there um not working and you need to replace that i don't know why vw makes uh plastic water pumps it just doesn't make sense but yeah, hopefully that uh, is un all understandable from how I see things or from how I uh, perceive things. And I research all of them as well. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you.